how can business leaders and executives help break the cycle of overwork and family neglect in our society? Well, one of the things they can do is to first understand that the research says that people aren't very productive when they're overworked. There's, there's clear evidence that if you go much beyond, say, 50 hours or so a week, that your uh, productivity declines to the point where you're actually not adding any, in, any value. The second thing is they should set an example uh, themselves. Uh, the employees follow the cues of the leaders. So, simple thing, go home at a reasonable time at night, walk around, say good night to people, tell them to go home. If they tell you they can't go home because they have too much work, then look into that. And I've see never worked in an environment that. like that. Have you? <laughs> I've worked in it once yeah. or twice, yeah. and I've, I've, I've tried to, to set that example. Right. So, so again, we, 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 you know, this is, a, <laughs> this is an insurgency we start trying to start here. Uh, because the evidence is that, as I said, that people are more productive when they're not tired. So, uh, so you're not really taking away much from the company. You're taking away from, from a culture that's got us into this cycle of, uh, of, of, of overwork and FaceTime and more is better.